In this video, I'll show you how to create and complete an inventory count in Merchant OS. To get started, we'll click Inventory, Inventory Counts, and then click New Inventory Count. You should name the count accordingly, so if you're only counting apparel, call it apparel. After you've saved the count, you can always come back to it. Another way to remember what count you're working with is to add the date to the description. Now you can start scanning your items in the Item Scan text box. You can scan the same item if you have more than one, or you can change the counted text box to the amount you have in stock. The Totals tab contains items you've scanned, including the amounts you should have in stock, how many you've counted, and the change in stock if you reconcile this inventory count. The Miss tab contains all the items that you have in stock that you haven't counted yet. You should double check your physical inventory to make sure you're missing these items before zeroing them out. You can also click the zero button next to the item rather than putting a zero in the count text box. The totals report now includes the items you've zeroed out. The reconcile tab will change inventory records to match the count you've just done. The Print Item List tab will generate a list that you can print so you can walk around the shop and write in your counts. You can then enter your count with the ID and count number at the top of the page. I'm going to remove an item from the count and re-add it using the Print Item List using the item's ID and the amount I've counted. After reconciling, you can verify that the item's quantity on hand has changed. The shrinkage report will show all inventory shrinkage after you've reconciled. You can then archive the count so it doesn't show by default in the inventory count screen.